Ryan Krauser dominates shot put. Don't take our word for it. Just look at the numbers. The 30-year-old is a two-time Olympic gold medalist and the 2022 world champion with 10 of the top 15 throws of all time. That includes the three biggest ones in history as well. In comparison, Usain Bolt has only seven of the top 15 100-meter timings of all time. The 23-meter mark has been breached 12 times in shot put history so far. Krauser accounts for eight of those distances, including the current world record of 23.56 meters. Treated us to two of the furthest throws ever seen in men's shot put history. He is six centimeters short of his own world record. In round four, he says yes. Ryan Krauser said yes. And if there's a man that knows shot putting, it's Ryan Krauser. Could this be a world record throw? I think it was. He just knew it, didn't he? There was no grunt. It was just a yes straight away. That mark is nearly a metre clear of his closest pursuer, Joe Kovacs, who is second best this year with a throw of 22.69 metres. But Ryan's got blinkers on. The field doesn't matter. He is alone in his journey of self-improvement, a journey that keeps him miles ahead of the pack. I would say that there's there's a little bit more pressure, but if if anything, it's more pressure that I put on myself just because anytime I go out to compete, I want to throw as well as I can. And so that's the basis of all of my training is, is trying to be as, as good as I can be. I can't control what the other guys throw uh, in terms of distance. All I can do is is throw as far as I can. So that's the, the main goal when I go out to compete is, oh, really squeaky toy, is uh, trying to throw as far as I can. And so if if I do the work in, in the off season and the weeks leading up to it, uh, usually the meet kind of reflects that if it, if it goes well and I execute execute properly. So that's, uh, that's my approach to it that has kind of led me to be successful but i don't i don't go in with with the expectation to win every meet i go in trying to to throw as well as i possibly can it's a bit funny to hear a world champion say that winning is not what he focuses on in his athletic journey but that's how it is for talents who have only themselves to compete against and ryan learned very early on that victory and improvement are rarely the same thing I've been disappointed in the past getting caught up in, in win streaks. And I, I had a really long win streak in, in 2020 and 2021. And so that while, while they're great uh, and awesome while they're going on, it can be really frustrating because it does feel like added pressure um, to, to try and go out there and win. And what ends up being kind of wrecking the win streak is there's so many variables that, that come into it. I remember for me, uh, what ended the last one is I got I got COVID for I had long form COVID and couldn't train for three weeks and so that kind of lost the whole tail end of my season because of that and so um, there's so many variables beyond beyond ideal preparation that come into it so that's uh, hey stop it um, that's kind of I try to get not focus on the win streak and focus on performing at my best simply because if you expect to win every single time there's going to be you're going to get sick you're going to have an off day and instead of just being like oh that was an, that was a tough day let's move on from it you're like oh i lost my win streak i it 20 or 30 meets in a row i'm not going to be able to top that again uh for a couple of years that's like a couple of years worth of meets so um i feel like it can almost push you in more of a hole than than a benefit you can credit a huge chunk of his mentality to his family. Born in Portland, Ryan comes from a family of seriously accomplished throwers. His father, Mitch Krauser, was an alternate on the 1984 Olympic discus team, while his uncle, Brian Krauser, competed in two Olympics in javelin. Oh, I, I think I could argue my case pretty well, at least as the best shot putter in the family. Uh, my dad has a farther discus PR than I do, and then my cousin... And my uncle all have farther javelin PRs, so um, I'm the best shot putter. But argue they could argue that I'm not the best thrower. <laughs> For a guy whose name is now synonymous with shot put, it's perhaps surprising that shot put wasn't even his first choice of sport. Ryan dabbled in a whole range of other disciplines before finding his way to the shot put, a journey which he believes 
made him the world champion that he is. Yeah, so I think, yeah, especially fo- American football players are always surprised that I don't play football. Um, and so that's, that's like the logical place that I probably would have ended up if I wanted to make a lot of money. And, um, but yeah, so when I just started doing sports when I was very young, I was, I started with baseball and football, uh, football uh, or soccer, um, and then American football and basketball. And I played up until, uh, I was in high school. Um, then I focused on basketball and track and I didn't go solely into track and field until I was, uh, went to university, went to college at 18. So I think some of that helped me to be successful as I was later. Uh, it got later into my career because I developed more of an athletic background as just a general athlete playing all these different sports. Um, I see so many athletes now that specialize really early and start going year round at eight, 10 years old. And it's just crazy that uh, to be trying to specialize it at that age. And I think they lose out on a lot of athletic development. Ryan loves his numbers. He studied engineering and finance. He's obsessed with science and even coaches himself. He likes control over what he does and that perhaps pushed him a little towards the shot put as well. Yeah, so what the thing I like about the shot compared to especially discus and javelin to an extent is uh, very little impacts the shot. So once you once you once the ball leaves your hand, it's going to go as far as it's going to go. It follows uh, projectile motion almost exactly. And so it's easy to track exactly how far it's going. And so uh, what really always bothered me in discus was the wind. I remember some of my best throws were in poor wind conditions and with how much the wind impacts both the javelin, but especially the discus. That was always frustrating for me, always trying to prepare for big meets and then you get there and, and the wind conditions aren't ideal. So that was always, uh, that never just, it, it bothered me because I always like to kind of prepare at my best and, and minimize the number of variables. And when you would show up to the stadium and, and the wind is bad or it's an early season meet and you're not ready to throw far, but the wind is good and you end up throwing a personal best. That was, that variable aspect was always frustrating for me. Ryan has a solid support system but he does enjoy antagonizing them every now and then. Case in point is his business in front, party at the back look, the signature mullet. Uh, it started as uh, just a joke because I I had long hair for a while and my buddy and training partner uh, also what, did had a side business doing haircuts. And so he was like, man, you should do a mullet. And my girlfriend was like very against the mullet and so was my mom and so i did it as a joke but people actually really liked it i think in general most of the guys seem to like it and girls don't find it as (laughs) as appealing um but i don't know it's kind of i i enjoy throwing with it and it's a little bit actually better for throwing the shot because it keeps the hair the longer hair out of the way when my hair gets long and it's not cut uh the shot it interferes with the shot behind my neck. I'm just pulling my hair out. So um, the mullet, I feel like, is a pretty ideal shot putting haircut. Do you plan on keeping it for a while until Paris 2024? Or do you want to, do you want to change something after that? Oh, we'll, we'll see how things go. I'm planning on having it through world champs for sure. And then my girlfriend might be kind of at the end of her rope by then. So we might have to go. We might have to come to a compromise and maybe go to shorter hair for a while. But it, it it's something that makes you very distinctive. And in fact, there's, a, I mean, with the baseball cap, the cowboy hat as well, there's a lot of things you do that are very distinctive. Is it something that you do it consciously or is it just something that happens and you stick with it? Oh, kind of in the middle, I think. Um, in in track and field, it can, it can be difficult to kind of express personality a little bit. Um, so I try to do some things to make, make it a little bit more noticeable or make it so that people can differentiate me from the other field of eight or 10 big guys that are out there. So um, I think finding some middle ground that's still authentic, but but also original. Ryan's Labrador Coda is his partner in crime. She's there with him during training, listening to his introspections and getting the best view of how a world champion prepares. She was even a big part of Sportstar's interview with him. Yeah, I think some of it's just a reflection of the work Oh my goodness, you're 
So she's been napping all day, and then I get on the phone, and she wants attention and wants to wrestle. Um, yeah, so I mean, for me, sorry, she's throwing a tantrum to not paying attention to her coda. Hey, hey, come here. Ryan is just 30, but he has planned his career right till his retirement, and he has something special in mind for how he wants to bow out. For me, I wanted going through 2024 for sure, and I would like to go through 2028 after 2024 i'll have to make a bit of a change in in my approach um simply just i'm not not getting any younger um but i i would love to retire in in la after the 2028 olympics so um doing an olympics on american soil at one point in my career would be a big highlight so that that's the long-term goal but i'll have to kind of make an adjustment and figure out for me how how do I stay in the sport and continue to be competitive instead of with the goal of just throwing as far as possible? So um, it'll be a, a big change in, in mindset, I think, after 2024 with figuring out with the goal being longevity over just maximal distance. So it'll be it'll be to overcome for sure. For the full interview with Olympic and world champion Ryan Krauser, do check out the Sports Star website. The link is in the description of this video.